Welcome back, everybody. This is Kara Crossway Brindle again with my amazing friends and colleagues, Liliana and Alex. Say hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> we are just jumping on video real quick here to talk about our upcoming workshop that we have going on April 22nd. So that is coming up real quick. Here we are mid March recording talking about it. So this is something that started percolating in October when we were on our little mini retreat that a lot of you were tracking us and, and wanting to come join. So we'll think about that for future. Um, but I want to invite both of you to talk about why this is important, why we're excited about it. I mean, this is going to be huge. It's got a lot of content and we have a workbook and all sorts of stuff going. So who wants to share first of what you're excited about most for April 22nd? I think for me is um, starting the conversation in our field about how we are worthy from our time, from our knowledge, from our skills. Like we are worth um, getting what we're asking for, being in community, highlighting, um, talking about all those messages that we, we don't talk about, right? It's almost like a taboo. Um, and then just exploring all these parts that, you know, go back to paying your dues, to no, you can't do this, um, you have to stay in your lane. Um, so it's exciting talking about all of this. Yeah. yeah. What about for you, Alex? I think for me, it's the, the intersectionality of the profession and the human and having to deal with, okay, this is what, you know, what's coming up for me as a professional and how is my humanness bleeding into the profession and the decisions that I'm making and being able to take a step back and have that dual awareness and also uh, lean into the discomfort and explore it in a way that is healthy and not, um, uh, that's empowering rather than paralyzing. And I think that when we're able to have that open discussion and conversation about what's coming up for me in my humanness, as well as, as, my, and as I develop as a professional, to have a space to explore it and hear others that went through the same um, place when you know, they started the practice, whether it's individual or the group practice, what came up for them, what were their stressors, and being able to have that uh, clear understanding and conversation of what came up for us um, can actually relieve and de-escalate a, de a lot of that anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's a, a great platform to learn from others who have gone through there as well, but also normalize the process for people who are getting started. Yeah, absolutely. So creating a safe space, of course, is what you're both saying. Of like We have people doing this work with us individually because we're doing supervision, consultation, all three of us do that. Um, so this is part of the inspiration is we had people coming to us one-on-one -on -one saying, hey, this is what's coming up, right? I don't feel worthy. I can't raise my rates. That's just one example. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to create a space and we're lucky enough to have a beautiful location thanks to Alex's nonprofit, Life Recovery Center. Thanks to that, we are able to go down to Colorado Springs. So it is going to be an in-person event. One of the first ones we're able to offer, hopefully still with safety in place. Um, but we have three domains that we're going to be covering in this workshop. So I'll be starting us off with self-worth, which is looking at our Enneagram type, our values, just some things that are foundational to who we are, specifically because I'm looking at this from financial therapy as we dive into some of the things around money, um, but also things like perfectionism and workaholism, which are also prevalent in our field and very much something I work on and work with others on. So we're going to start there and then we segue into, I think Liliana, you're second in the, the program. You want to speak yeah. to what your section's about? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be talking about the relational part, right? Um, what are the roles that we take in? What are the messages that we come in either because of school or families, society as a whole? Um, what are the cultural messages also that we are adapting or we're not even aware? Um, so we're going to be talking about all of that and then how it bleeds into our finances or our professional life and, and how we think about all of this. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we go to Alex. Yes. For me, um, I'll be doing pretty much like a functional analysis where you're able to sit with yourself and analyze all your domains. We're going to bring in the perms, um, which is my jam. I want to bring in the perms and talk about how it's affecting you physically, emotionally, relationally, mentally, and spiritually as you develop as a, as a professional, as well as a human. And again, having that intersectionality of professional and human and how I'm showing up as a human and how it's showing up, how I'm showing up um, as a professional with all of this previous um, challenges that we've had in our life and how it's just showing up now as I develop as a professional. So, and it's, and, and again, normalizing it, there's, this is all to use as a skill and a cope, a skill and a tool as you develop. I always default back. 
always the fallback um, to how I need to check in with myself. I need to check in. How am I doing as a human? How am I doing as a professional? Where am I at? And uh, giving myself grace that it's okay to be here. I don't know what I don't know and I'm learning and that's okay. And just realize that in this space, that's what we want to foster. Absolutely. So through this leadership of the three of us and the enthusiasm to do this work, beautiful location, we're hoping yeah. a lot of you will join us. I think it's nine to two, right? Is that our time frame? Yeah, that so is. we're here for a chunk. We'll have a lunch break. We're going to be in this beautiful space. Um, and all three of us are just excited and invested in having these conversations with a bigger group of people and have it be safe and empowering. Um, so like I mentioned, we have a workbook and all sorts of things to help you percolate on this. It's not a one and done kind of process, but to kick it off. And uh, yeah, so it, we'll put a link here to the website to sign up. We hope you'll join us April 22nd. Yes. Any final thoughts from the two of you before we close? Um, hope to see you and get ready because I'm going to be hugging a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes, I'm looking forward to doing the um, in-person, finally um, having much more in-person and um, giving guys a, a lot of time to just explore and uh, have that fellowship. So you can see that um, this is what builds community and builds uh, builds us as uh, professionals to be able to fellowship, network, and show up authentically in our challenges and being successful. Yeah, I think the timing yeah. of this is perfect, right? With burnout and all the things and another reason to get back together um, to network, Liliana, as we were talking about offline. <laughs> so many reasons to come to our training. So sign up for April 22nd. We will see you there. Let us know if you have questions and I'll put a link below the video so you can join us. Thanks, everyone. Yes. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye.